Hello. Huh? Look. Oh. Hmm. Wow. Huh? Look. Ah. Oh. I'm Sally. And I'm Possum. Hello. Hello everyone, good morning. I'm going to go see Sally. I need to check on her. Yesterday, she was playing touch football with her friends. And unfortunately, she hurt herself. Ah oh well, I better go check on her. <gasps> Hang on. Sally said I wasn't allowed to play touch football with her because I'd be too rough. But she got hurt herself. That means she was the rough one. <laughs> I'll go check on her. Hmm, she's not in there. I wonder where she could be. Hmm. Hmm, where is she? I'll check the garden. Huh? What's this? Why is there a red cross there? Why would she put that there? I wonder what it means. Does that mean she's put things into her foot? No, doesn't mean that. Maybe her foot's fallen off. Hmm? No, it's not here. No, no that couldn't be it. She would have drawn it differently. Hmm. I wonder if she's on the bench. Hmm, where is she? Hmm. Hi everyone. I left home early this morning and I haven't seen Possum yet. I've only just returned. Hi Possum. <gasps> Hi Sally. Huh. What, what are these? What, what happened to your foot? What, it hasn't fallen off. What's that black boot for? Oh, so many questions Possum. I can't answer them all now. Why don't we go inside and have some morning tea and we can have a discussion. If you have any questions, I can answer them for you. Morning tea? I haven't even had breakfast yet. Well, we can go in and eat, OK? Come on. Oh, Sally, would you like some help? I'm very strong. I can carry you. I know you're very strong, Possum, and I do trust that you wouldn't drop me, but... I have these things. They're called crutches. They're helping me be independent and walk by myself. Oh, they're called crutches. Yes. Ah, oh, they're like the stilts that we made before. Do you remember? Of course I do. They are similar, aren't they? But the difference is that the stilts have foot pedals. And so you have to lift your body up onto the stilts. These don't have any, do they? So I use my hands to lift myself up and keep my shoulders straight. And the foot that's sore is now off the ground and I can walk along with them. That's great. Well, come on then. <laughs> Whoa. See how good I am on my crutches, Possum? Yeah. Can you please open the door for me? OK. Right. Now watch how good I am at getting up this step. Ready? Come on, let's watch. Whoa! <laughs> You sit down, Sally. Thank you. Thanks, Possum. 
Now, you rest until you're feeling a little bit better. Then you can go make me some breakfast, okay? Hmm. I could do that. But I think it might be a better idea if you went and got your own breakfast. Because the doctor... has advised me to rest and keep my foot elevated and not to walk around too much. Oh, OK. I can make my own breakfast, Sally. And while I do that, I can make you a cup of tea. Oh, that would be lovely. Great. Sally, is your foot sore? Oh, it is. It was very, very painful. So bad that I went to the hospital. I thought I had broken a bone. The doctor felt that it was a sprain and not a break. But, just to be safe, he sent me for an X-ray. And I put my foot up and they got this special X-ray machine and it took a photo. And you can see all the bones in my foot. Wow! Oh, what's that? Huh? Oh! Bring that over here, Possum. Oh, I know what that is. That's my x-ray from the hospital. They posted it. Would you like to have a look? Yes, please. Take it out of the envelope. Wow. This is an x-ray of my foot. You can see all the bones in my foot, can't you? You can see the ankle joint. Hmm. Sally, do all doctors know everything about what happens inside us? Well, doctors know most about what happens inside us. Why don't we watch a mother taking her child to see the doctor? <gasps> yeah, let's watch! Sally, was that doctor your doctor? No, I had a different doctor. Sally, when you went to the doctor, did they make you stand on the scales? No. Hmm. <gasps> did the doctor put those things in his ears and listen to your chest and your heart? No. The doctor I went to see just looked at my ankle because that was what was very sore. They needed to make sure that it wasn't broken. And that's why they sent me for the x-ray. And after we got the x-ray back, we found out it wasn't broken, it was just a sprain. So they've given me a special boot to wear. It keeps the joint tight so it can heal and get better quickly. And in four days time, I have to go back to the doctor so they can check to see how my foot is. Hmm, okay. Right. Here you go. Put your foot up and rest. Now you wait there. P 
Possum, can I say what a lovely cup of tea this is? Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Here, pop this on your head. OK. Ah, right. Sally, you must eat lots and lots of fruit. It will help you feel better. I'm going to go outside and I'll be back. OK. off to have a nap and I'll look after these crutches for you okay if you need them you can just pull on this rope and bring them in uh possum I have a better idea I actually need those crutches with me can you please bring them in oh okay oh Oh, thank you, Possum. One more, please. Oh, the other one. Yes, I need them both. Oh, OK. Ha-ha! <laughs> Great. Here you go. Thank you. Great. Oh, <gasps> Sally. I can remember. Before when I was sick, you would help me by telling me a story. Would you like me to tell you a story? Oh, that would be lovely. Yes. Oh, hold on. Right. Ready? Yes. Once upon a time, there lived a lady with red hair in a house. Mm-hmm. And in the tree next to the house lived a possum. Oh. <laughs> One day, the lady went to play touch football with her friends. Yes. But, unfortunately, she hurt her foot. Oh. Ooh. She went to the doctors. Mm-hmm. The doctor looked at her foot and sent her for an X-ray. Hmm. The doctor then looked at the X-ray and said, Luckily, it is not broken. It's just hurt. And that she'll be OK. Lucky for her, the possum was there to look after her. Oh. The end. Oh, what a great story. That was lovely. Sally, do you feel better now? I do feel better. Well, then I'm happy. Possum, what are we having for lunch? <gasps> I can make some sandwiches. Oh, and while I'm making those sandwiches, why don't you write the story that I just told and then later I'll draw some pictures to go with it. Oh, that sounds great. What a wonderful idea. Well, our time is up. Thanks for watching. Oh, and don't worry, I'll look after Sally. Oh, how lovely. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Right, here you go, Sally. Ooh.